Clint is bending toward the light. Plants need water, sunlight, air, and nutrients to survive in their habitats. They also have different ways to reproduce or make new plants. Living things adapt or change to meet their needs. How have plants adapted to meet their needs for water? Desert habitats don't get a lot of rainfall, and they get really hot. Cacti have thick stems that store water. Their spines provide shade to protect against water loss. They also keep the plant safe from animals. And, uh, robots. Grasslands sometimes get rain, but they can also be hot and dry for long periods of time. Thin leaves allow less water to escape during dry spells. The roots of many grasses grow deep to reach water down below. The Rose of Jericho is a plant found in dry areas of the Middle East. During dry periods, the plant curls up. It can stay like that for years until there's enough water for it to open and grow. The rainforest gets a lot of rain, so plants have ways to shed water. The leaves of some plants are waxy and have special tips so water can run off easily. Hmm, it's pretty shady near the rainforest floor. How have plants adapted to meet their needs for light? The rainforest floor doesn't get a lot of sunlight, so some plants grow large leaves to take in as much light as they can. Many plants adapt to their surroundings to get enough sunlight. Over time, plants might grow toward brighter areas, like a sunny window. Kudzu is a vine that can grow really quickly. It can climb up tall trees so it can get out of the shade and reach sunny areas. How have plants adapted to meet their needs for nutrients? Many plants get nutrients they need to grow from soil. But some plants grow in places where soil doesn't have a lot of nutrients. The Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant have adapted by using animals for food. Air plants have adapted to life without soil, and they get water and nutrients from the air. They can survive above ground and reach better sunlight. Mistletoe is a type of plant that can live off of other plants, steals nutrients and water from the other plant. Animals spread the seeds of the mistletoe to other plants. How have plants adapted so they can reproduce? To reproduce, many flowering plants must spread their pollen to other plants. Some flowers have bright colors and scents to attract animals that will spread the pollen. Some plants use the wind to help spread their seeds. The seeds of maple trees have thin wings. This special shape allows the wind to carry the seeds to new places. Some plants grow fruit that have seeds inside. When animals eat the fruit, the seeds pass through them and end up in different places. Then, new plants can grow. The devil's claw gets its name from its seed pods. Their pods have long hooks that can get stuck on animals. Animals carry the seeds and shake them off in a new place. Moby.